Today, we're exploring how to make bulk and inline reclassifications on bank transactions because we know that every click counts. And we'll be joined by Pro Advisor correspondents Kenji Kuramoto and Roman Villar. Hey, Pro Advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In the Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. We heard that it's time consuming to fix mistakes or make updates to bank feed transactions by opening them up one by one or by having to use undo. So we've added bulk reclassification so that you can quickly change accounts, payees, classes, and locations on sets of transactions. And that's not all. We've also added inline reclassification so that you can immediately change fields on a single transaction without having to open up a new window. And now for the fast facts. Bulk and inline reclassification on bank transactions is available to all QuickBooks Online customers, including both accountants and small business owners, with the exception of multi-currency users. You can access it by visiting the banking page. And great news, bulk and inline reclassification is available now to users across all regions. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me go ahead and introduce you to Eric, who's the product manager behind this update. Eric, welcome. Thanks for being with us on the show. Do you mind taking us for a spin? All right, well, thanks so much for having me, Jacqueline. Excited to be here. So now I'll walk you through the steps for bulk and inline reclassify, and it's quite straightforward and hopefully easy to pick up. So let's say I've got a bunch of transactions here and maybe um, I'm a client or I'm someone new to bookkeeping um, and I'm not quite sure what to do with the transactions. So I see them all right here and I just press accept without really reviewing the pay or the category or anything else on those transactions. Okay, so now I go over to the categorize tab and I say, well, hold on a second, we need to make some edits here. Um, and so what I can do is I can start by selecting a bunch of transactions. By the way, quick pro tip, this is available across QBO, but you can see I did a shift click right here to select all these at once. Again, available across QBO, but especially helpful for this bulk reclassification feature. And now I can go and edit those transactions. And then what I can do is I can either select a vendor from my vendor list, or as I'm doing here, I can create a new one. Uh, and so here I'll create a new vendor for Target um, and I'll save that. And then over here, I'll select an account for my chart of accounts. In this case, I'll pick job supplies and I'll press save. And then that's it. The edits are done and I don't need to do anything more. I'll show you uh, and you can see right there, there's the target and job supplies reflected on the transactions. I'll do one more again. I'll shift click to select all these Amazon transactions, um, press edit. Again, I'll make a new payee here, but you can pick an existing one. By the way, uh, as I mentioned a minute ago, you can also edit class and location using this exact same window right here and then choose your account. And in this case, I'll pick Office Supplies and Software, press save, and that's it. Now, what if I wanna edit just one transaction or maybe two transactions, and I don't even wanna open that window? Then what I can do is just edit it there in line, and that's it, it's done. And here I'll do the same thing with the account. All I have to do is type in a new account and select it, and that's it. Transactions updated, I don't need to save, I don't need to open a new window, I don't need to open anything else. And again, this is going back to what we've heard from so many of you that every individual click matters and we're looking to make this workflow as fast as possible. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Looking forward to seeing your feedback uh, and hearing how we can make this even better for you. And thanks for having me on the show. Awesome. Thanks, Eric. We'll turn now to Pro Advisor correspondents Kenji Kuramoto and Roman Villar for them to weigh in. Kenji, Roman, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Kenji, let me kick it off with you. What's an example of a time when your team would need to bulk reclassify transactions? Oh gosh, there's a number of reasons. Um, I'd say one of them would be a lot of us as firms owners have um, clients who are also working in their books. It's probably kind of rare that we're the only ones like just as the accountants, even if we're doing CAS or they're outsourcing all their accounting to us, clients get in the books and guess what they do? They like to go in and like, Ooh, look at me, I'm doing accounting. And they'll sit here and hit accept <laughs> on everything. And it's like, oh, I'm done. And then our team goes in and goes, whoa, what did you just do? Like you just screwed all this up. So that happens and we need to find a way to go and like fix in bulk a lot of these reclassification errors. And then I think also oftentimes when we're taking on new clients, um, we wanna go back and wanna do some cleanup. And so, it's a lot nicer to go back and do large scale bulk actions than like going back through every single transaction and clicking there. So those are a couple ones I think that 
most firms, even beyond us with acuity, probably run into quite frequently. Yeah, you know what's funny, Jacqueline, is this this morning I uh, popped into a QuickBooks of a new client and we had a about 1,200 transactions that were uncategorized and sitting in the bank feed. Oh, wow. And uh, to Kenji's point, there's often times where we've got to go in and clean things up. And kudos to them for standing up QuickBooks, but they didn't do a darn thing in the system. Uh, so the ability to go in and batch classify, it, it expedites our cleanup time considerably when we've got to go through those types of situations. I bet that makes your team happy. I know doing cleanup work and setting up clients can be pretty tedious and time consuming. So anything that gives folks time back to focus on more meaningful stuff is always welcomed. For sure. Kenji, you brought up something a second ago about the inline reclassification being a pretty slick time saver. Yeah. Um, I think that was what I, what I liked about this, and I know our team is like this as well too, is uh, not only can you do these bulk actions, but it's really with one click, you can go into a transaction and just change the classification right there and it'll automatically push it through. And you think, okay, well, of course it should do that. Historically, reclassing took a number of clicks. And I think any of us who are doing accounting at scale, outsourced accounting services, if you can save time, uh, it is incredibly valuable to you and to your client. And so being able to look at something, like, oops, I'm just going to really quickly change that classification without saying, now let me save it. Let me post it. Let me all those things. I mean, it gets to be monotonous. And so um, that seems small, but I think if you're a firm and your team members are probably juggling multiple clients, you're saving them time in their day, literally just doing this. And so I thought that was a very thoughtful action that the product team delivered that may not be as noticeable in some cases that I think that will have some real benefit from a time saving standpoint. Oh man, well that is the perfect high note to end on. <laughs> this particular update, so, so very exciting things about bulk and inline reclassification and just love that. Uh, these are time savers that are ultimately going to help your team out and enable them to focus on more meaningful client work. So I'm glad that the show can be a small part of that. Kenji Broman, it's always so fun hanging out with you two. Thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate you both. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.